Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben.
Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Hier ist das Journal von DWTV aus Berlin. Ich bin Thomas Klein, guten Tag. In Israel hat es einen neuen Selbstmordanschlag gegeben. Der Attentäter und ein junges Mädchen starben. Und so weiter unser Tagesthema Hunger in der Welt, aussichtsloser Kampf. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und auf Wiedersehen. Australian. My name is Christoph Lanz and I am head of Deutsche Welle's television of DWTV. I am pleased that Deutsche Welle is once again a new venture partner of SBS. Just as we were partner of the initial World Watch Group in 1993, nine years later Deutsche Welle is proud to be involved with SBS Digital. Remember the question, television, what's it for? The answer from the SBS World News Channel is global news and current affairs to give viewers a better understanding and appreciation of what's going on around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming along to help celebrate the launch of what we believe will be a significant service and a signpost to the future. And a special thank you to all the SBS staff who've made it happen. screen television. So wide that it seems to take forever to walk across the screen. It's the latest thing and while not many people have widescreen yet, it's soon going to be the standard and we'll wonder how we put up with anything else. SBS, of course, is right at the front of the change. Hmm. Black and white is dead, long live colour. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Multicultural Television. This is indeed a great day, because what you're seeing is the start of an experiment in Australian television. An experiment that recognizes that Australia is a multicultural society. Hundreds of thousands of migrants have enriched Australia, both culturally and materially. They've changed Australia for the better, to a society which has as its citizens people from all over the world, representatives of many different cultures. It began as a political gimmick six years ago. It's now set in concrete on the north shore of Sydney. The special broadcasting service is one of those political notions that seemed like a good idea at the time. Demonstrators protesting over the planned merger of the SBS and ABC. Keep
They'd stationed themselves to make sure Bob Hawke ran a gauntlet. And when they sighted his car, the mood changed abruptly. Crammed together on the roof of this building are 14 satellite dishes, each receiving almost 100 separate feeds uh, from eight different satellites. Now, on the roof at Milsons Point 12 years ago, SBS had only one satellite dish and received just one overseas news bulletin. It came from Moscow. <laughs> Uh, the rollout of digital television around the world is very slow, but we are actually one of the world's leaders. And if you look at the two countries where the World Cup is being co-hosted, Japan and uh, Korea, they have between them a population of about 170 million. Each of those countries sees high-definition television as the way of the future. It's the end game for them. In other words, they take digital television for granted. They're now looking at uh, high-definition as a competitive advantage for the terrestrial networks as against the cable and satellite offerings, which will have, of course, hundreds of channels. The army in full control, solidarity in disarray. Poland's communist leaders win the first round. This is 028 News. Good evening. In Warsaw, the police and the army appear to have broken the back of the wave of sit-in strikes that greeted the declaration of martial law. U.S. and its allies have consistently rejected such a treaty, arguing that... So to do something different, we struck on world news because it was something that no one else was doing. Four, three, two, one... Good evening. The crisis in Fiji has erupted into violence with... The what makes the SBS news right. different from all the others, I suppose, that we do it the way we do it? So if you're talking about, for example, Israel, you talk about the Knesset. You don't talk about the Israeli parliament, you see. So you make it, in their own uh, words, more digestible. CR News 2, could you roll record, please, for Perth? It was an operation that today looks backyard. But news at SBS kept growing, with the Canberra Bureau opening in 1983. The people who by and large are watching us and, and who care for the program are uh, people who don't necessarily fit the average Aussie stereotype. In the Sydney headquarters, international reports came in via telex. Scripts written on typewriters. The auto cue was paper. And who then could imagine a newsroom without cigarette smoke? In 1988, Mary Kostakidis became the chief newsreader. With the homogenisation of information that globalisation has brought, the challenge to SBS is to be constantly looking at ways in which we can increase our news sources and ensure that we provide people with the alternative point of view. That balance has to be there. Otherwise, we're all running exactly the same line on all the issues. Issues, analysis and depth became a staple for viewers, always there even if the programs changed. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. Tonight... It's now with great pleasure that I invite the Minister for Communications, Senator Richard Alston, to officially launch our digital world news channel. Lift off for another satellite carrying rocket and for the SBS World News Channel. A new frontier for Australian television viewers with 18 hours of news and current affairs via satellite from around the globe. Programming innovation attracting international attention.
Buenos dias. Hello, friends in Australia. I am Igor Gomez of TV, and I'm here to tell you SBS is expanding to digital TV, where your picture is bigger and better, and your news from Spain will be delivered three times a day now. Hello, my friends. Konnichiwa, minasan. I am Yoshi Imai of NHK Japan. We would like to congratulate SBS on the launch of the digital news channel. SBS has met the challenge of pioneering new satellite paths to bring direct services in languages, including Japanese, Italian, Mandarin, German, Greek, French, Russian, Spanish, and Bahasa Indonesian. Selamat malam, I'm Tengku Melinda from TVRI, Indonesia's state-owned television, and I welcome viewers in Australia. Our countries are moving closer together as SBS TV is increasing its news from Indonesia on the new digital news channel to three bulletins a day. I hope to see you soon. Sampai jumpa. Guten Morgen, Australian. My name is Christoph Lanz, and I am head of Deutsche Welle's television of DWTV. I am pleased that Deutsche Welle is once again a new venture partner of SBS. Just as we were partner of the initial World Watch Group in 1993, nine years later Deutsche Welle is proud to be involved with SBS Digital. Remember the question, television, what's it for? Television, what's it for? Television, what's it for?